Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we've got three main goals. First, we're going to conditionally render our vote buttons so that they only show up whenever users are logged in. Second, we're going to refactor our upvote event listener into a separate function. And then third is we're going to use this function to send both upvotes and downvotes. That way we're not repeating ourselves. So first, we don't need app.js. We need the view of comics underscore show. And then just scroll down till we find those vote buttons, wherever they are. Let's see, where are they? There's the add comment, so it's right after that. Here they are. So we want to only show this and this if a user is logged in, but we want to show the span here, whether they're logged in or not. So we can do that with our JSX. And just check if user. I'm going to copy this because I'll be using it down here as well. So if user, do that. And if user, do that. Don't want this extra space. We don't want this extra space. So let's save that. CD into Yelp Comics and no daemon. I restarted the server and it seems to be running a lot quicker, not having nearly as many problems. So if you ever run into run into trouble with Gorm, all you gotta do is come into the um, the dashboard, hit the settings on your container, and hit stop, and then start it again. So that's running. Let's refresh, and the buttons are not there. You'll notice I get an error in the console because um, we're trying to add an event listener to something that doesn't exist. That's fine. Don't worry about that. If you really wanted to, you could come into your JavaScript um, and set conditional if-then statements to only add it if it exists. I'm not worried about that right now. I don't really care about this. So when I log in, though, I was test in here, and now they do indeed show up. So that is working. That's one thing done. We should be done with the show. Oops. Close the wrong one. Here we go. And now inside of here, inside of our comicsshow.js, we want to refactor this, all of this kind of this functionality, so that we're not having to repeat this twice for each event listener. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add helper function section. And the helper function is just going to be basically send vote, and we're going to pass in information to that. So let's make a const send vote. It's going to equal an async function, and it will require some information. The argument is going to be the vote type, either up or down. So we're going to copy, or actually cut, all of this stuff to build the fetch options into here. And right now, we are going ahead and setting the body in the options to up. We're not going to do that right now. We are going to cut that out entirely and set that conditionally down below. So if vote type is equal to up, else if vote type is equal to down, else do something else. So if the vote type is up, we want to set options.body equal to json, oops, json.stringify vote up. We basically want to do the same thing if it's down, except instead of up, we want it to be down. And for the else, in other words, if, if this um, function gets called with anything other than up or down, we're just going to throw an error. Throw vote type must be up or down. And we, I don't think we've talked about throw before. Basically, it just throws an error. That's all it does. So we've saved that, and that's just setting the options. Remember, all we're doing here is building the options, and I can go to this extra line. The next thing we want to do is just like we did down here, send the fetch request. So we are sending that, and then down here inside of the listener, all we got to do is call that function. Send vote passing it up, and that means that we can easily copy and paste this down vote btn. 
where the vote is now down. So let's save that. Refresh our page. We have to log in. Let's click up. Message is voted, and let's look in our console. The vote is up, and let's click down. We still got the message voted in our console. The vote is now down. We can do as many times we want. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. So that is it for this video. We did two main things, or three things technically, but two main things. We conditionally rendered the vote buttons in our comics show page, so they only show up whenever a user is logged in. And we refactored our um, event listener into a separate function so that it can be used for both upvotes and downvotes, and we're not having to pay, have all this code in there twice. We're not repeating ourselves. Last thing we have to do is get status, get add views, slash comics underscore show, get commit, conditionally render, oops, why, render vote buttons and get add the comic show so get commit refactor vote function whatever and get status should be clear get push origin master and that is it as always if you have any questions please let me know i'll be happy to help thanks mm -hmm.